Nowadays, the internet is not a place where only a few of us seem to dwell. It is a virtual realm where most of us communicate, learn, entertain, or even do the business. We build our virtual castles of solid stones, as most of us believe. We feel comfortable and secure at our virtual fireplaces. We are not afraid of villains, dragons, or even evil wizards that attack some of the castles far away. We are very secure. One might argue that such a virtual world as the internet would never affect the physical world that we live in. You can go offline anytime and be back whenever you wish. Unfortunately, this is not true anymore. We might suffer from bad things that can happen online. For example, our credit card details might be stolen or privacy revealed. Our personal data might be leaked to some malicious party. The consequences might be very severe for our private lives and our businesses. Therefore, we must be quite sure that our virtual castles are built on solid ground and well protected against all the lurking monsters out there. Now imagine your virtual castle for a moment. It has solid walls of stone that no one can get through, surrounded by a wide trench with piranhas. The soldiers that guard the castle know their job pretty well, Nobody can get in or get out without your permission. Those who build the castle for you are also experts, but... Imagine that they forgot to place a few bricks in the wall somewhere far from the gauge that you are not aware of. If so, all of the countermeasures that you have will not protect your castle from the enemies. My work is related to the web application code analysis. Simply speaking, I am the one who is searching for the hidden passages or holes in the castle's wall. I am here to give you the proof that your virtual castle is as solid as it seems to be, so you can enjoy your time at the fireplace. Now, when your castle is ready to withstand the big cruel world around it, there is a bunch of things that its inhabitants must do to protect it. At the entrance of the castle, there are two keyholes that, only when operated together, open the gates. Every time a visitor arrives, both guards at the entrance must agree to open the gate and let the visitor go inside. This is to prevent that one guard alone can let an enemy go inside the castle. If the visitor intends no harm to the castle and the king, the two guards turn their keys at the same time and let him in to do his business. Otherwise, if a visitor is malicious and one of the guards notices it, he will not turn his key and therefore the visitor will be locked outside. This division of power is called separation of duties and comes from our physical world. My work is to ensure that these kinds of controls are correctly implemented in business applications. The royal family, relatives, counselors, knights and servants live in the castle and many visitors access the castle every day. Every visitor should be identified before accessing the castle. The procedure to enter the bridge represents security protocols. Two guards waiting at the entrance of the bridge. If a person want to enter the castle, he has to tell a unique secret code to the guards. If the secret code is correct, the guards allow him to enter the bridge. One day, a spy from the enemy kingdom overhears the secret code of one of the visitors and tries to enter the castle by dressing as the visitor and repeating the secret code to the guards. The guards grant access to the intruder. Thanks to the magic bridge in front of the castle, it detects the intruder when he steps on it and alerts the chief guard by changing color to red. The chief guard identifies the intruder, arrests him. The magic floor represents our tool 
which exposes such intruders and loopholes in the protocol. The night falls. Doors and bridges are secured. Thick walls and night watchers look after the security of the sleeping inhabitant. Suddenly, we heard a voice in the dark. I'm a messenger, said the voice, and I carry an urgent message for the queen. It's a matter of life or death. Unable to identify the stranger, guards have to take a difficult decision. Allowing the messenger to enter, expelling him, or waking the queen from a peaceful sleep to decide by herself. Hopefully, their task is made easier by the crystal ball made by the Grand Wizard of the Realm. The magic crystal ball can predict the future and say whether we should allow or not the pretendant to enter. This kind of situation daily happens in business environment and often needs human intervention to be solved. We are currently working on developing a risk-aware identity and access management system it's somehow our crystal ball. There are a number of castles in the kingdom and every castle has a repository for storing gold and other valuable properties which are managed by an agency just like a bank. Some people would rather to store some of their special valuable properties in more secure castles for example, situated far from borders. Since they are worried about losing their treasures because of war, they need to track their own properties and make sure they are stored in safe castles. On the other hand, transporting these valuable things from border cities to interior and more secure cities requires more effort and cost. Therefore, agencies may cheat on them and instead store them in the local storage. In this scenario, valuable things are actually sensitive data which are required to be stored and processed in specific regions. 